we will be making a detailed review about the number 6 college that is JSS Science and Technological University. The highest package offered this year in JSS was around 60 LPA. The overall ranking for NRF 2023 was around 151 to 200. Now, if you see the cutoff for these branches, for computer science, it is around 3525. For computer science in business system, it is 6012. Hello, dear students. Welcome back to our channel, Diksha Karnataka. So, KSET 2024 counseling is going on and you are at the stage of option entry. So, it is quite obvious that you will be spending your time in doing different researches about different colleges, about the placements, about the seat matrix, about the cutoff and so on. So, to make your task easy, we have started a series where we have uh, made a comprehensive review about the top 20 engineering colleges in Karnataka which take admission through the KSET 2024 examination, right? So, in this video, we will be making a detailed review about the number 6 college that is JSS Science and Technological University. So, please watch this complete video so that you can have overall idea about the seat matrix, about the cutoff, about the fees, about the facilities, about the placement record and so on, right? Yes, so yes, let us start with this. So, the most interesting thing here, you can see the package. The highest package offered this year in JSS was around. 60 LPA which is a very great number 60 LPA the average package was around 9 LPA so you can like be very assured that if you're joining this college after four years you will be coming out with somewhere around 9 LPA okay and the placement report for this college was around 75.4 percent so we have designed a formula to calculate the placement rate I'll be telling you that also but let us start now okay first Okay, so here is a general overview of the college. So the college name, as you all know, is JSS Science and Technology University. And the year of establishment is 1963. So it is a very old college, you can say. But yes, still it is one of the most important college for all the engineering aspirants in Karnataka. Next location, so it is located in Mysore. And so, let us now discuss the placement record in detail. So, we have already seen the highest package for this year was 60 LPA and the average package was around 9 LPA. Okay. So, and the number of companies visited in 2024 was 400 plus. So, all the top recruiters of the company, around 400 plus companies visited this com uh, college and the number of offers they made was around 800 plus. Okay. So, now to calculate the rate, placement rate, we'll show you what formula we have used. So, the total number of offers divided by the total number of seats into 100 we did to calculate the placement rate because there was no official data or the official placement rate was not published in the college website. So, thinking this one will work, we have used this. So, if you see here, there were 800 offers and in the 2024 passing like the 2020 batch students were having 1060 into 100. So, the placement rate was around 75.4 percent. Okay. So, this is an approximate placement rate. So, that means if a college of 100 uh, branch of 100 students or a class of 100 students are there around 75 students are getting placed. Okay. Which is a huge and a great number as well. Okay. Now, coming to the next some i want to show you some placement records of 2023 so these are the different branches and their highest CTC. okay so in biotech it was around 8 lpa in computer science in business system the highest package was 56 lpa computer science in engineering 56 so this is for the year 2023 okay and construction technology management it was around 7 lpa civil engineering was also around 8.5 lpa electronics and communication 35 lpa electrical and electronic electronics 18 LPA and you can see information science engineering was around also 56 LPA okay so these were some uh, the core branches and the highest package offered in the last year so now you can see the very high packages we are getting in option uh, in branches like computer science in business system computer science engineering information science engineering okay now I'll also show you the number of offers that were made in different branches in the last three years that is 2021, 2022 and 2023. So, if you see here in computer science engineering, the number of offers made last year was around you can say 150. 
p over something and in uh, then you have the next branch which was having is electronics and communication engineering the package was around the number of offers was somewhere between 100 and 120 okay so you can see these are the branches where the number of offers made were more so what is the use of this what what data what can you use from this so if the number of offers made are more that means more number of companies are visiting for these branches okay so if your cutoff is there if you are between confused between whether to choose ec or ee so you can see ee number of offers were around 60 whereas ece the number of offers were around 100 plus so you can select ECE in that case. Okay, so this is this will be very helpful to compare the different branches. So if your cutoff is covering three, four branches, so which one will be the best for you? Now, similarly, if you see for mechanical engineering, also somewhere around 60 plus offers were made. Okay, now if you see the very less offers were in biotech and construction technology management, civil engineering was around 40 plus, right? So this is how you can analyze this graph. So last year, how many offers were made for different different branches, and you can shortlist the branches according to your, uh, like according to your rank. Now coming to the next thing that is NIRF ranking. Okay, very very important. So if your college is having good NIRF ranking, that means it has good facilities, good faculties, good hosp like. Uh, good infrastructure and the quality of education will be very good. So for this one, the overall ranking for NRF 2023 was around 151 to 200. And if you see the engineering ranking, it was around also 151 to 200. Okay. So there are different parameters for measuring. So these are the ranks for NRF uh, by NRF in 200, 2023. Okay, now coming to mode of admission. See, we have seen the packages. Okay, these are very lucrative pass packages, and you might be now interested to join this college. But what are the exams that you must write to get into this colleges? So there are two important exams. One is our favorite K set. Another one is your Comet K exam. So next, you have to see the fees of these colleges. So K set fees, as you have uh, is in the. Uh, ma uh, the official notice it is 1,7495 and for Comet K the fee was around 2,21,960. This data we got from the, uh, there was no official data, we got it from a website that is College Pravis. Okay? So the value may be somewhat different, some uh, may not be exact but you can see somewhere around 2 lakh you will be the fees if you take admission through Comet K. Okay? Okay, now coming to, yes, college code, yes. So when you are doing the option entry, the very, very important thing that you must keep in mind is the college code, okay. The college code, the courses and the uh, college name, that should be correct. So that is why please remember if you are entering this college in your list, the college code for this is E057, okay. Now coming to the branches and the cutoff, you can see some top branches here. So for computer science, it was around the number of seats is 180, okay. Biotechnology number of seats is 60, civil engineering 60, then you have computer science in business uh, system, you remember this was the branch where more number of offers were made and the highest LPA here was 56 in the last year. Then construction technology and management 30 seats, electronics and communication 60, information science and engineering 90, mechanical engineering 60. Okay. Now, if you see the cutoff for these branches for computer science, it is around 3525. For computer science in business system, it is 6012. Civil engineering 98000. Biotechnology 59000. And electronics and communication 7663. Information science and engineering 4283. Mechanical engineering 68945. So, these are all the cutoff for K set. Okay. K set round 2 extended of 2023 okay now if you come to comet k so comet k doesn't offer uh, for all the branches so for biotechnology it is 69000 for civil engineering it is around 36000 and for csc it is 3064 and for this one mechanical engineering it is around 75838 so now if this is the college that you want to join because you can see average package is good the highest package is good and the placement rate is also very good. So if you are 
planning to join this college next year or you are studying in this, you are a prospective student for this college, you must remember this number. So, the cutoff range in the case of KSET, so your rank must be between somewhere 3000 to 187000 in KSET exam, then you are, uh, you can take admission in this college. But if your rank in Comet K is between 3064 to 75838, then you can take admission in this college, okay. So, please remember these numbers, these are the last year cutoff ranks for the, for this particular college. Okay, now coming to the facilities provided, so the facilities are very good here, there are hostels for both boys and girls and so if you are travelling from a different city, you will not have any problem for the staying purpose. Then transportation services are there, apart from this, it has well equipped li libraries, laboratories, sports facilities are there, events are there, curriculum activities are there. So yes, a very good college provider, your rank can get this college, okay. Okay, so yes, this was a detailed review. We have discussed the fee structure, the seat matrix, the cutoff, and the uh, what other facilities provided here, the NRF ranking. So everything is covered. Still, anything doubt you have, please watch these videos in our channel, which will help you to make a very good option entry for yourself. So you can see case set cutoff for top five colleges, how to make the best option entry, then seven mistakes to avoid while making the choice entry and how to do choice filling. So please watch these all videos so that you are able to prepare the best preference list for you. Okay. So yes, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and if you have any doubt, please comment down and if you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe our channel.